This is a fast exam. This is the right upper quadrant. You have a good view of Morrison's pouch here. Um, and you have a good view of the diaphragm to tell you that there is no fluid um, into the chest. You have another clip here that's saved. And again, I like that you're fanning and watching um, the uh, liver disappear. You need to make sure, if you can, make sure you include the inferior pole of the kidney or the liver tip. So I can tell from here that this is not quite yet the inferior pole. So there's, um, if you look at the head is on this side and the foot's over here, you need to come a little bit um, uh, towards the feet or caught at just so you can get a little bit more of the liver tip or the inferior pole of the kidney just to make sure there's no free fluid there. This is the pelvis view here on the FAST exam. And I think right there, this is either the bladder or this is maybe trace or a small amount of free fluid. Hard to tell, but one thing that you can realize is that um, your depth is very, very deep, and so there's all this space um, that's not necessarily necessary, so you could um, decrease your depth. Um, also, maybe it would help to try to put some more firm pressure just to get some of this bowel gas out of the way, which is why I think you're having trouble seeing the pelvis. Um, but based on this view, I can't really make a clinical decision um, based on the pelvis. Now we've moved up to the left upper quadrant. Um, you can see the kidney here, and then you see the spleen come into view. The probe is backwards. Um, the indicator here is towards the patient's feet. And so you want to reverse it so it's towards the patient's head. Um, in the left upper quadrant here, this is great. You can see the edge of the spleen here, and you can see the kidney. Um, it's a challenge, but you definitely got the view here. Another, And then you move on to the um, aorta. Um, which is awesome. Um, this is your descending aorta. As you're going down, you can see the um, branches come off. And one thing to um, point out, you see all of this here. This is all um, unnecessary um, space. Clearly, this woman is quite skinny S since this is from her skin to her spine is maybe three or four <laughs> centimeters. So um, you don't need all this space here. So you can decrease your depth a little bit. Another view here as you're going down. You're following it down. You're following. You're following as it begins to bifurcate. And I think you have the bifurcation right here. So anyways, just a take home message uh, from this. First, um, with the FAST exam, remember the probe is always towards the patient's head, um, which was um, done backwards on the left side. Um, try to play with the buttons a little bit, the depth, um, the gain, so you can optimize your image. Um, but great job, you're able to see the left and the right um, pretty well. So, And your uh, aerial ultrasound was spot on. So uh, great job, hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.